Hey church family, it's Pastor Mark. Uh, I really did not expect to have to give an update like this one. Uh, again, I, I was uh, very hopeful that we were past all of this and uh, able to move you know, more uh, proactively into a, an endemic uh, COVID-19 world and not a pandemic one. Uh, but with the rise of hospitalizations and all that sort of stuff, Tri-County Health issued a new mask mandate uh, for uh, Arapahoe County uh, on Wednesday. Now, you haven't heard from me about it uh, since then uh, because in the past, Tri-County Health would send out a, uh, an email to churches just outlining their expectations and their requirements to churches, and, and they haven't done that yet. Uh, and I've been very surprised. Um, you know, if anything, this, this new mask mandate seems hastily thrown together and, and instituted. Um, over the last few days, I've, I have uh, gone to uh, stores and things of that nature, uh, wanting to observe how uh, stores are implementing, you know, the mass mandate. And, and uh, I've not seen a consistent uh, expectation of everyone uh, wearing a mask. Uh, in fact, I walked into a store the other, uh, just yesterday, in which uh, all the employees minus one and nobody, you know, no customers except for me, uh, we're, we're wearing a mask. And so, you know, I'm, I'm fully vaccinated. So, uh, I thought that was, that was really quite interesting. And I took off my mask. Um, you know, just, just a few things, you know, before we dive in what, to what MABC is going to do. Um, I think that, that, and apologies if you hear my children in the background, but, uh, my, you know, my understanding is of this and I'm, I'm no, I'm no expert for here. So here's my understanding of what's going on. Uh, the last I looked, I think it was on Wednesday, was that 83% of people in the hospital in ICU or on a ventilator um, are those who are unvaccinated. And so largely this is really a pandemic of the unvaccinated. You know, we also have to understand clearly that uh, vaccinations uh, do not provide immunity. They do provide protection. And there's a crystal clear difference in those two things. Um, that if I'm, if I'm vaccinated, it doesn't mean that I there's zero possibility that I could get COVID. Um, it does mean uh, that if I'm fully vaccinated, and especially uh, if I have a booster, uh, then the chances of going to the hospital are, are extremely low. Uh, the chances of dying are extremely low. Uh, and even uh, if I have my two vaccines plus a booster, uh, the likelihood of contracting it uh, is also very low, uh, but not impossible. So, for those of you out there, I, you know, I've, I'm scheduled to get my uh, booster on December 6th. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't know that I'm looking forward to that, uh, but it is what it is, right? Uh, the other part of that is, um, you know, my encouragement to you, if you have not been vaccinated yet, is to talk to your doctor. Um, I'm not a medical expert. Uh, I don't know your unique situation. Um, and I would just encourage you to talk to your doctor and talk through all the different options, all the different vaccines, um, and figure out sort of the best path way forward. I, I know somebody in our church family uh, who is allergic to uh, ingredients in the vaccine. And so, I, man, I, I get that 100%. And so, you know, they're, they're not going to, to be able to be vaccinated. Um, so that brings us to, like, what are we, we going to do tomorrow? Um, and again, this is without clarity from Tri-County Health. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask if you are um, vaccinated, uh, then it, it's really up to you. Uh, if you are uh, comfortable um, not wearing a mask, then I'm, no one's, I'm not gonna require it of you. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna come along and, and um, tell you, like we, we've had this posture the whole time uh, that we're pastors, not police. Uh, we've said that, you know, for the last, you know, uh, 15 months and all that sort of stuff. I mean, we are pastors, not police. We, we are not going to uh, scold you for not wearing a mask. Um, and we're not also, we're not going to check vaccine cards. And so if you, if you show up uh, and you're not uh, wearing a mask, uh, then my hope is that you're vaccinated, um, fully vaccinated, all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're also not going, we're pastors, not police. And, th and I've, I've made sure that that's clear with our greeters, our ushers, our safety team too that nobody's going to be fussing at anybody to put on a mask. On the other hand, if you're not vaccinated, I would strongly encourage you to get a mask. 
and the same to wear a mask and the same same sort of aim that that I would strongly encourage you to talk to your doctor about getting vaccinated um, again at the same time we're not we're not checking vaccination status uh, and so what we're gonna do is is love each other well show tons of grace and kindness um, you know wait uh, for Tri-County Health hopefully to give us an update exactly what their expectation of us is um, in the past it's been you know we have to be 25 feet away from people and um, yada 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 and, and they just haven't they have not told us a thing so that's where we're at today um, I, I want people to come to church and worship there's no greater way for us to uh, mature in our faith than to do so together it's crucial the church is to gather, uh, the church is to be together and then be uh, encouraged through worship and word and then go out and scatter into the world to make a difference. Um, online church is uh, no a permanent substitute for in-person worship. And so I would encourage everyone to join us for worship tomorrow. If you're vaccinated, masks are optional. If you're not vaccinated, masks are encouraged. Love you guys. God bless.